Welcome to this tutorial on how to use Timeline.js to create a simple but effective looking timeline that you can either embed into your own website or a learning management system or just provide a link to students. But in this tutorial we're going to look at how to embed it into an iBook using iBooks Author and iAd Producer. So what you'll need is iBooks Author downloaded on your Mac as well as iAd Producer. Now iAd Producer is free but you will need to register with Apple uh, in order to download it and you'll also need an active Google Drive account as the data that powers the timeline is held in a Google Drive account which is continuously updated according to the most recent version of your data. So timeline.nightlab.com, a project of Northwestern University's Nightlab. It is a free open source project. Here you'll see an example of a finished timeline, how it looks, and you can see down here the timeline plus key events enhanced with media embedded into the project. So how it works, it's quite simple, uh, very straightforward instructions. First thing you'll need to do is create your spreadsheet, which it gives you a template for. So you just click on Google Spreadsheet Template, comes up with a link to a file, and here's one that I am in the process of creating. You'll see here, this is the remnants of the template they provide, just to show you how to input the various kinds of media files. Here are two entries I've done based on starting a saxophone history timeline. So the first actual key event I wanted to put in was, don't worry about those little red tabs, is that the saxophone was developed in 1846, but I also wanted a headline. So I just put the start date before the first key event. You could also put it the same, but you do need a start date. Now to make this work the simplest, I've found that the best way to do it is to convert all the number or the timeline uh, cells to plain text otherwise you'll end up with times and in this way it also allows you to just put the year but you also still have the option of a month and it's the American uh, month day format rather than our day month format here in Australia. So these first two entries I've got my title page which is the first one saxophone history saxophone is the coolest instrument in the world of course and then a link to a media file which I've grabbed of a live clip of a quartet. I play with the Compass Quartet, a piece by Jeremy Rose. Just click on share this video, copy that and paste it into the column that says media. Making sure in everything that you do here that you are attributing the credit where it is needed and operating under uh, the various licenses, whether it be fair use or Creative Commons or you actually own the content the second entry is a pull of text from a Wikipedia file and all you need to do is grab the URL of the file you like, in this case I've just selected saxophone, again paste it in the media section, give the media credit and it will automatically populate your timeline and then you can do that, you can have as many entries as you like, you can add more entries. Once you've finished with your timeline, in order to get the next phase, you need to select Publish to the Web. You need to ensure that this is selected here, automatically republish when changes are made. That way your timeline web link and wherever it's embedded will always have the most up-to-date version. You don't need to reload it every time. And you'll have a, a uh, button here when you do it first time that says Publish Now, so click on that you come up with a URL that provides you with a link to this spreadsheet to power the uh, cool looking timeline. So you just copy that, move back to the timeline website, use the instructions around publishing to the web, copy and paste your URL here. In the options, make sure that there's nothing selected here. This will become important for the iBooks author embed later. And then if you want to see how it's looking, you just click on link to preview and it will provide you with the web URL that you can share with anyone. Now you could also shorten this using a website such as Bitly that creates shortened URLs and here you can see the timeline pulling the information or the data from where we selected it. So next to embed it into an iBooks using iAd Producer. So here's the embed code that you'll need. You just copy that, open iAd Producer, new project, select iBooks author widget and select the HTML template. Then double click again and double click again. This comes up with the HTML code editor. Just select the section in white 
and either delete it or you can just copy uh, paste straight over it with the embed code you've gotten from the Timeline.js website. You'll see that, that automatically shows you how your timeline will look in this iAdProducer widget. Now in order to get it to a widget, we need to pub, uh, export to disk. So we just select export to disk. Let's call it Sax History 1. Export it to the desktop. And that exports it as a widget. Now if we open iBooks Author, you can see a page I've already started and the widget already in place. Now to get that widget in place, what I did was just drag the widget into the iBook. And there you have it. You can move it around, you can call it a type, different title, whatever you like. So I'm just going to delete that because I've already imported it. Next step is to preview how it will look in iBooks. So select preview and it'll prepare a preview in iBooks for you to look at. So here it is in iBooks. If you click on that, you can be able to see our timeline in action with live links this is how it will look either on iBooks for the Mac or iBooks on your iPad. And here you now have, I think, quite a cool timeline. And depending on how much information you put into it, it can be quite comprehensive. I just completed one for stage four music course on electronic music, a year eight class, and uh, which spanned 100 years of development. You can check that out on my website. So I hope that's helpful showing you how to use a simple open source timeline creation project available at timeline.nightlab.com and then embedding that code into iAd Producer to produce a widget which you can then drag into iBooks Author to publish. That's all for now. I look forward to catching up with you on another music education tutorial.